Bianca Duran, head coach, State Chapel Softball, um, as the Thunderers are prepared to hit the road to begin the 2024 season out at the South Central Regional Cha uh, Tournament Challenge out at Los Lunas, uh, New Mexico. Uh, coach Bianca, uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, you know, give us a little scouting report on the Thunderers uh, heading into the season. I know you have a, several returners from last year, uh, including your seniors, uh, Delaney Barella, Jace Lencher Hill. Um, just talk about um, the, the new, newcomers and how they're meshing well with the uh, returners. Yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like that's the greatest thing about having some new faces, but not kind of how it was last year and more new faces than returner. But it's really an exciting thing to have the girls that we have. I feel like they've come in full swing. They're ready to go. Um, obviously, here and there, things that we've been working on just to be ready and be prepared for game day. But I feel like these newcomers have really pushed the returners um, in a way that I feel like we've just not ever had before. Um, so having that depth, having that push for each other, um, it's just made for a really competitive environment, but also I feel like has got us to the point to be really prepared for this weekend as we are right now. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited. Um, and then getting two transfers even in that, and Zoe and McKenna, um, being able to have just some upperclassmen, some more um, just that next level mentality out of those girls as well that's really helpful yeah for sure it's it's been awesome to have such a big bulk of your kind of starting lineup being back i mean that's huge that's what every coach wants and not always the situation you're in but for us we're really lucky to have that i think i think it's great for our young ones and they get to be under people that have that experience already at this level um, and getting that experience right off the bat and having to be freshmen and be in those moments right off the bat um, but for the new ones to be able to move into that a little bit more comfortably and at a pace that's good for them as well um, but i feel like their hard work their dedication and also just how they came in ready to go and compete at this level, I feel like has made our returners even better, even sharper, um, but also has made them really great leaders. I feel like we have a lot of really great leaders on our team. Um, obviously having our four core captains has been huge, but having those returners that have that experience, they've really taken those underclassmen under their, their wing, even the transfers under their wing, because they know you know, what the expectation is in the program, but also what's coming in season at this level. And uh, let's talk about the um, season schedule, if you will. Um, you uh, were not shy in scheduling some pretty tough games for the team this year, um, facing West Texas A&M three times in the first uh, couple weeks of the season, and including uh, several other Lone Star teams. Um, just talk about that aspect and um, your thought process in scheduling those, that this is such a tough non-conference schedule. Yeah, and here's the thing, to find out how good you are, you gotta play the best, you know, and to me, we're the best, but we really got to test ourselves against that high top competitive, you know, competition, because then that also gets us ready for the RMAC um, opening right off the bat with Regis and things like that. Um, I feel like you just, you want to play the best of the best to compete at that level, um, but to also know that you're capable of being just as good, if not better. Um, and I feel like that's where it's going to be a really big eye opener for them to realize how good we are, um, but humbling in the same way of being able to just stick to who we are um, and just believing in ourselves and not worrying about the people around us. Um, but in, in playing, you know, like a West Texas A&M, not planned to have to play them three times, but I'm also very excited to play them three times because I feel like we can change the lineup, you know, a multitude of ways to kind of throw everything at them and also put players in situations against top competition um, to really get them kind of in that next level mode. So I'm excited about that. Um, the thought behind playing tougher competition is just getting ready for the RMAC. I feel like we do have a really strong conference. Um, we're competing with the Lone Star in that as well. Um, but I feel like being able to play more games before conference was just a really big goal of mine. I feel like only having two weekends of preseason, it's really tough. Um, we play everybody four times in conference, so the bulk of the season is RMAC play. So this year we really wanted to have, you know, we go off the bat now, we play five, we get to go to te West Texas A&M and play a few games and then have that midweek and then we start conference. So we're gonna have a better understanding of who we are in, in game mode um, to prepare better for RMAC play, which is where it really counts. Let's talk about um, the team that uh, fans are going to be when they come out to Rawlings Sports Complex, the team that they're going to see on the field. Yeah, I think we have a lot of passion and excitement in everything that we do. Um, I feel like, you know, you have like a Lucy, a Maddie, and Ashley, um, just three that really come into mind that just they show their excitement for this game. And that's something that I hope to see out of all of them as a whole. I feel like just that competitive edge that they have and how bad they want it. Um, and 